Hey there, creators and color enthusiasts. Ever wonder how to get the best color on your printer? It all starts with ICC profiles. Today I'll show you how to find ICC profiles on Windows and Mac computers. I'm Bob Miller, Color Services Manager here at IT Supplies. At IT Supplies, we take color seriously, and that is why we are bringing you this overview. First, let's quickly explain what ICC profiles are. ICC profiles, or International Color Consortium Profiles, are files that ensure consistent color representation across devices like monitors, printers, and cameras. If your colors are off, an ICC profile can save the day. Now, let's talk about how to find them for your Canon, your Epson, and HP large format printers. But before we get started, I want to let you know that what I'm about to present is a very high level overview. I go more in depth in our other videos on this channel for each individual workflow. But please go ahead and seek them out or contact your sales specialist at IT Supplies for more information. First up, Aqueous Printers. Many people ask, where are profiles located on my PC? The answer is typically at this address that we're gonna show below. It's C, the Windows folder, System32, spool, drivers, color, and then for Mac, profiles can usually be found by navigating to Mac HD library, color sync, and then profiles. When you install the complete driver sets for your printer, it will usually include the profiles that will, and those will be installed in the directory. Still can't find the profile you need? Perhaps you need to look for them online. Let's show you what tools are available. For Epson Aqueous, the tool is called Epson Media Installer. This program allows you to download and update many of Epson's medias. Simply open the program that you can see here and uh, you will immediately see all of the medias that are available for your printer. Uh, you can also click on Media Download and you can download uh, media setups and profiles for many of your Epson medias. One other thing to note under the Media Manager is that you actually will have an import tool and an export tool. So if you want to install third-party medias like Conamule, Moab, Innova, etc., simply navigate to the Media Management area and then find an Epson media that is similar to the media that you're going to be installing. So uh, in this case, if it's a luster paper and it's 260 gram, you might choose the premium luster photo paper. Then go up to the top left, duplicate it, and, uh, and make any adjustments that you need. I go over all of this in specific in other videos on our YouTube channel, so please refer to those for further information. For Canon printers, the method is similar. For Pro and GP models, simply navigate and open the program called Canon Media Configuration Tool, as you can see on my screen. If you don't see it, go to the Canon support page for your printer and download it from there. Once open, you will see the medias available. This tool is powerful and can really help you improve ink usage and accuracy using the onboard calibrator that is in the printer. I go into a lot more detail on a separate video. When importing third-party medias, look for AM1 files. These files contain all the media settings and include the profiles. Should an AM1 file not be available, simply create a new media based on a similar Canon media and adjust the settings accordingly. 
When using third-party medias, you will always want to use a custom media setup. Using a Canon default paper setting may result in oversaturation or other issues. Once again, check out my other video for details on how to use this tool properly. Now, let's move on to HP and Epson Latex and Ecosol. HP has a fantastic portal to help you find media settings and profiles. This site is called PrintOS Media Locator. The information on this site is usually available directly through your printer or by navigating to the site on a computer. When navigating from your printer, the medias will be pre-filtered for compatibility with your model. If you need to download them from the Media Locator site, on your computer, simply go to the site and filter them by using this filter icon up in the upper right. Filter by printer model and simply find your printer. Once downloaded, you can navigate to your printer's IP address in a web browser and upload it to the printer using the media uh, source or substrate option that you see here on my screen. Simply navigate on the left to the substrate and click import substrate preset. Once on the printer, you will need to sync this with your RIP. Please reach out to us with any questions. Finally, let's talk about Epson Edge dashboard. Similar to HP, Epson maintains a variety of media setups for various manufacturers. These medias can only be accessed through Epson Edge Dashboard, which you see here. Within the dashboard, you will be able to locate your media simply by clicking on the cloud icon and then filtering for the type of media that you're looking to download. Once you select it and download it, you'll be able to go back into the media settings and drag that media onto your printer uh, from left to right. I go again into more detail in a separate video that you can find on our YouTube channel. Please use that as your reference for additional information. Let me close by saying that these downloaded profiles are a great start toward color accuracy. Since every printer is slightly different, you may also want to explore creating your own profiles for extremely accurate color. Whatever your needs, IT Supplies is here to help. So that concludes our brief overview on how to find ICC profiles. Whether you're a photographer, print operator, or just someone who loves accurate color, knowing where to find and manage ICC profiles is essential. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.